Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. I just wanted to pop on with a quick video to show you a great new update that's gonna make it so quick and easy for you to quote or invoice your clients for custom items that have multiple product components. So if you have been invoicing your clients for custom pieces within Design Files and you don't necessarily wanna show all of the product components as individual line items, you've probably been running into a situation where you're having to mentally do the math and then edit the cost of the main item to include the additional fees for those product components. So you do not have to do those steps anymore. We've now made it really quick and easy for you to add in all of the product components and the individual costs for them and then you just simply get to choose whether you want to show the breakdown of the product components or if you want to hide those product components and just show one total cost for the main product item. So let's jump into this invoice and I'm going to show you exactly how it works. Now in this case, we have an invoice where I'm going to be invoicing the client for this armchair and I want to include two custom fabrics. I've got one for the back of the chair and one for the front and the seat of the chair. And I want to group all of these together within the invoice. So over here, you're going to see that there's a new group column and you would just click the check boxes next to the items that you want to group together. When you do that, you'll see a new button up here where you can group the selected items. So we'll click that. And that's then going to open up this panel where it's going to show me all of the items. I can choose which one I want to make as my primary item. So in this case, it's the chair. So I'm good to go. If I wanted to switch it up, I would just turn the toggle on for whatever item it is that I want to be my primary item. And then below that, you'll see that I can choose if to uh, display just the primary item on the invoice, or I can choose to display the primary and the secondary items. So if you want to be totally transparent with your client, you can choose this option and it will show each individual product component as its own line item and it'll show the details and the individual cost for each. So let's go ahead, we'll do this one first and then we'll come back and I'll show you a, a second view of the invoice where we're only going to be displaying the primary item. So we'll hit save and I'm going to go down here to the bottom and hit save draft and preview. And when the system generates the invoice, you'll see that we've got our grouping of products together. I've got my main product item, which is my chair, and then grouped to that are the two fabrics that I'm going to be including within this chair. It's got the details for each, the individual cost for each, and the total down here at the bottom. Now, if you are going to be dealing with fabrics, and if this is a fabric that you plan on using in multiple areas uh, for your client project, or even if you plan on using this fabric for future client projects, you might want to consider adding the price as the per yard cost. That way you can just increase the quantity depending on how much fabric is going to be needed for any of those custom pieces that you are going to be creating for your client. You can, of course, just choose to leave the quantity as one and add in the total cost for the fabric that's needed to cover this chair. It's completely up to you, but adding the uh, per yard cost will just make it easier for you to reuse this fabric uh, item in your library over and over again for future projects. Now, if you don't want to include the breakdown of the product components within your invoice and you just want to have one clean line item, here's what you'll do. We're going to exit out of this. We're going to come back to our grouping right here. We're going to edit the group. And this time we're going to switch over to display the primary item only. We'll hit save here. Now what this means is that your client is only going to see this line item. They're not going to see these. So you might want to consider including a note on the primary line item that just indicates to your client that the overall cost that is displayed within this invoice is including the cost of those two custom fabrics or any other product components that they're going to need to purchase along with this item. You can then go down to the bottom here, uh, hit save draft and preview. And this time when it comes to the invoice, we're going to have one clean line item. We've got our note right here, letting the client know that the cost is including those two custom fabrics and we've got the overall total at the bottom. So that's how it works. Definitely. If this is a 
feature that, well, I guess I should say, if you find that you are spending a lot of time quoting and invoicing your client for custom pieces, this new feature is gonna save you a load of time. You're not gonna have to mentally do the math anymore and edit the uh, total cost of items. The system will just do it for you and you'll have that flexibility where you can choose to show the breakdown of the product components or you can choose to just bundle everything up into one clean line item. Now this new feature and 14 other amazing new updates have been added to our new full service plan. So if you're interested, pop over to our plans and pricing page where you're gonna be able to see the full breakdown of all 15 new additions to that plan. And of course, if you have any questions at all, just reach out on the live chat. We're happy to help.